Hey guys, welcome back to Infidelity Stories. Make sure like and subscribe to the channel for more spicy stories. Now, let's get into story video. Cheating wife gets caught with her boss after two years of infidelity. So, I, 39M, just caught my wife 38F, of 14 years, together 17 years, cheating on me with her district manager of Aramark refreshments for about two years now. Before I get into details, there is a backstory to all of this. I want you all to get a full picture and decide if she was entitled to cheat or did I just pay off a debt I owed. In 2012 I took my wife to get her tonsils removed at the hospital. They gave me her belongings as she couldn't take them inside surgery room. Her phone kept buzzing. I took it upon myself to see who was blowing her up and I read tons of inappropriate emails with another man at work. She was reading Fifty Shades of Grey at the time and was referring to the man as her Christian Grey, something she would call me. I was pieced and wanted answers but unfortunately, she couldn't talk after surgery so on the drive home I handed her a piece of paper with a pen to answer all the questions I had and she wrote it was nothing but flirting. I grabbed my two-year-old and briefcase of clothes and went from CA to Oz on a mini weekend getaway with my support team, my best friend and his wife, to stay away from her for a while. Once back she informed me that she deleted her email and it won't happen again. Fast forward a few years and I just could never get over the fact that she would betray me the way she did. I wanted to get even and felt that it was the only way to move forward from it. I met a client who showed me some attention. We started texting and while my wife would go out with her friends and party, I would secretly leave my son with my mom and go see this woman. We had an affair and eventually fell in love with this other woman. After about 9 months, my affair partner tells me she's pregnant. First thing that came to my head was playing Usher's confession song and actually confessing to my wife, which I did. She took it pretty well as she told me she had an idea and that God was preparing her for that moment. I told her that I wanted a divorce and would like to start a new life with this other woman. She told me that we can work things out, to go to church more and get therapy from the pastor and all should be great. How could I say no to that? I had to break the news to the pregnant AP who was under the impression that we were going to start a new life together the bad news that we weren't. Fast forward a few months and I find out my wife is now pregnant. Three months apart from AP. She wanted to feel more secured over the other woman, so she basically forced us to have another child together. It's deck 2014 and I went from having one kid to three kids in a blink of an eye. It's been crazy but I'm there for all my kids. Now let's jump over to present time. Wife and I have had our fair share of bumps on the road but I truly am loving the way we are raising our beautiful children. I have come a long way and have been faithful and committed to rebuilding our relationship. I go out of town for work from time to time as does she. Just found out that for the last two years, she's been having this affair with her boss. Every happy hour event after work, every time she spent doing overtime, every trip to San Diego or Valentine's Day in Portland. He was there keeping her warm in a hotel room. Here's how I found out. She went for drinks after work and I asked what time do you plan on being home? She tells me 9pm. 9pm comes around and she's nowhere in sight. I call her and call her and nothing. I get a text with a picture of her girl co-worker and it's informing me that she's just grabbing a few more drinks before heading out. I found it so weird that she could text me but can't give me a call. I zoom into the picture into a napkin that was on the table and see where she's at. I drive 45 minutes from home to look for her and there she is. At the bar with her boss with his arms around her. I walk up and they were both shocked to see me. She was quick to say okay bye, I'm like, bye, but I just got here, did I interrupt something? She proceeds to tell me she's closed up her tab and she's leaving. I stay with her boss. The boss is drunk at this point and he's talking to me about his wife. He tells me that she doesn't pay any attention to him and how they do whatever they want. This is the first time I meet this guy and he's getting personal. He asks me if I've ever caught my wife cheating and I proceed to let him know that I haven't but if I do, it wouldn't be a pretty sight. He orders another drink and I see my wife calling him on his phone multiple times. I found that very odd. In the middle of his drink he gets up and leaves to what I thought was the bathroom but he actually leaves the bar. I take off home and have tons of questions for my wife. Her response was I'm sorry I should have told you he was with us as well. I've never been the jealous type and a friend told me to check my phone records. OMG. My heart dropped when I found out she's been talking to him Monday to Friday after work for 15 to 30 minutes at a time. I confronted her with all the phone bills extending to two years ago and she informed me that after work she has end of day reporting to do and he needs those numbers to report to his boss. It was such a good lie. Keep in mind she's not salary and clocks in and out, so in HR point of view, reporting numbers after clocking out would be considered illegal. I needed proof of their conversations but how? I decided to record their conversations. I'm not going to mention how I did it, but once I heard what was said. 
My heart broke into a million pieces. She had conversations with her own cousin talking about how much he brings excitement to her life and it's not only the SX but how funny and goofy he is. She talked about how dumb I was to believe the end of day calls were real. She said how they would have to lay low for a while and where there's a will, there's a way. And then there's the conversation between the two of them, where they talked about how much they loved one another and how they make each other feel. Straight caught. I knew I was furious but didn't know what to do. Do I go to their HR? My wife just got a promotion, should I tell them it's because she's fking her boss? I did the only thing I could think of. I contacted his wife. I did a ton of research with some help of course from a good buddy that loves drama. Contacted his wife on LinkedIn and waited for her to call. She did and I told her everything I knew. We put dates together and they've been having a blast for years now while we both were being played for fools. We did a four-way call but they denied it all even after the recordings. They both finally came clean. Now I have to ask myself, do I stay for the kids or leave her because my debts for my wrongdoings have been paid? She's begging for me back but I've moved out and pick up the kids to take them to school every morning. She still works under him and swears it won't happen again but how can I trust that after two years of loving another man? She let him in her heart and pants. Is this my chance to leave her and start a fresh new life or do I stick around to make sure my kids grow up with an undivided family? Is there hope for this toxic, unhealthy marriage? Should I get the district manager fired for his wrongdoings and all of this? What should I do next? I know two wrongs did not make a right. I'm here for advice if anyone has successfully kept their family together for the sake of their children. Now look at some comments. Here's the thing. First of all, you have a very toxic relationship with this woman. This is a bad situation to raise your kids up in. No matter what happens. The kids will feel this, they will absorb it and then they will think that this is how our relationship is supposed to be, and will be doomed to have terrible relationships in their future. If you want to do the right thing even though you screwed up before she screwed up before so you had been on an even playing after each of you cheating. But now she's gone on and had another two years with this guy. What do you need to do get a lawyer get her served at work make sure you retain all your relationship information of her and him. Present that to the lawyer, you need to go grey rock and 180 on her she should move out while you stay with the kids. Don't know where you live where they're at so at fault state or not but at least you can use her cheating information as to keeping the kids. Don't stay with her for the sake of your children do not do this do not raise them in a wicked environment. Love your input. Sometimes you get so used to a person that you can't really picture yourself without them. She slept with him a day before my birthday. Day of my birthday we took the family to Disneyland. Found out the next day about all of this frown it just sucks. 